Former President Donald Trump has declined to endorse a federal ban on abortion. In a post Monday on his Truth Social platform, Trump said that he felt the issue is best left to the states. The states will determine by vote or legislation or perhaps both. And whatever they decide must be the law of the land, in this case, the law of the state. That's a situation that has developed after the 2022 overturning of the pivotal Roe versus Wade Supreme Court decision that had guaranteed a federal right to abortion. Abortion has developed into a major issue in the 2024 campaign at multiple levels, but especially at the presidential one. Democratic President Joe Biden was quick to criticize Trump's post, saying in a statement of his own that Trump has created the patchwork difficult situation of different restrictions and regulations on abortion across the country that Biden said has left many women in the lurch when it comes to their own health care. Other Republicans have been critical of Trump's post, too, including former Vice President Mike Pence, a staunch abortion opponent, who said that he felt voters who had supported Trump in past elections had been slapped in the face by his turning down the idea of a national abortion ban. By not endorsing a federal abortion ban, Trump is perhaps trying to appeal to some of those voters in the middle who might think that abortion should be an option for at least some. He's also purportedly removing one of the criticisms that Democrats have had of his campaign that arguing that he's just a candidate who wants to outlaw abortion and remove it as an option for everyone. This is something that Joe Biden and other Democrats have been arguing against Republicans writ large, but by refusing to go along with a specific timeline federally, Trump may be trying to appeal to some voters still trying to make decisions between Democrat Joe Biden and himself.